Mike, uh, what's it like to be back on campus after you know a whole summer considering your future, finally getting you know your feet back underneath you? It feels really good to be back. My second home in Champaign. Been here for a good amount of time, and uh, you know, just there's really no place like your second home. And, uh, just glad to be back with a great new staff. A lot of returning teammates, some new teammates. Just, uh, really got a bond with them. Just, just what, really nice. what was going through your mind all summer? What was the, the final decision maker for you to, to come back? Uh, I'm not going to get too much into that. Uh, personal stuff going on with me that, uh, just like I said, not going to get too much into it. Just really glad to be back. Uh, excited about the future here. And uh, glad they welcomed me back with open arms. If you're comfortable with it, what were your conversations like with Coach B? And what did he kind of say that really persuaded you to come back to Illinois? Um, Coach B and I had some really good conversations. I mean, I, I really, first time I met Coach B was uh, the day after the Penn State game, and it was very brief. So uh, while being at home, I, I only had time to conversate with him through the phone. Uh, really genuine person, just seemed like, you know, without being face to face, and uh, really just respected any of my decisions that I wanted to make, and he was just trying to be a supporting factor for me, and uh, I really did appreciate that. I know you're. Uh You've been limited in reps so far this year in camp. How do you feel coming in right now and uh, as opposed to past years? I feel great. Uh, you know, I can't remember exactly my last four years how I feel. Um, but at this time, I feel really great. I will say uh, the strength staff, I'm, I have no words for how good they are. I mean, this is the best staff I've been a part of um, with respect to every past staff I've been through. Um, but they really do emphasis on taking care of your body and soft tissue. Super, super glad and happy that the staff that uh, Coach B put together. How much of an influence did Tank maybe have in your influence coming back and his focus on soft tissue considering the past you've had with your knees and your ankles and feet and stuff like that? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say it was too much of an influence. I know uh, no matter where I was at, you know, I really do believe in where I'm at, where I'm at. I'm giving my all and put the trust in whoever is running the program. But uh, I did hear really good things from all my friends. Obviously, I continue to have conversations with them while I was back at home. Um, and they have really nothing but great things to say about Tank. And, uh, when I got here, saw it for myself, really lived up to the expectations. Is the key to building a relationship with the coach, just over the phone like that, the hard to do in an offense? How do you look for things you're looking for? How do you strengthen that to get this Just really just being myself, you know. Uh, I'm not a loud person. I don't think I like to talk too much, and people think of me as a really quiet, introverted person, but, um, you know, just getting, letting them get to know me through the phone, but, you know, remaining the same person, I'm not going to change for nobody, and I think uh, Coach B and the staff saw that, and, and I know I've, I, I was, had great conversations with them, and I hope they enjoyed the conversations uh, that I had. Like, maybe research on Coach B's past, uh, obviously you've had success in the running game or anything like that, or is it just to get to know one another type of deal? Um, yeah, I definitely did. Coach B on, um, my, you know, high school has a great relationship. I remember even when I was being recruited in high school, um, he came down when he was at Arkansas. And I think he even spoke to, uh, like, a group of us for a little bit. So I knew that uh, he had a really good relationship with my high school and, you know, just trying to, you know, get the word from, you know, the people that knew him best. And, you know, I heard really just, just a genuine, really good coach that cares about his uh, players. So, um, you know, hearing that really made me feel comfortable and um, excited. Do you think stand out about that conversation when he was in Arkansas coming down to the high school? Do you remember much of I really don't remember, but I just remember he was there, and I was, and, uh, kind of all came full circle when I uh, saw him in our first team meeting back in, uh, after the Penn State. I'm curious, Mike, how do you maybe view this season just in terms of you know, running it back one more time? What do you want to accomplish, or how do you kind of, from kind of a, a macro view, kind of how do you kind of see this last year? Uh, just really just genuinely want to do whatever I can to help this team. Um, if that's, you know, taking the, the carries 10 times a game, 15 times a game, 20 times a game, you know, it doesn't matter to me. I want I want to see wins, um, like we all want to see wins. So whatever I can do to help this team, I promise you, um, I will do. And um, that's all I, I got for that. You mentioned Coach B having a good relationship with Gary Smith, Coach is at Aquinas. Did that have any influence in your decision to come back? Did you talk to those guys at all? I wouldn't say I had an influence, but I just um, I wanted to hear what they had to say about it. You know, I tried to, you know, just do my research, like the previous question. But uh, 
you know, he's coached some St. Thomas players where I went to high school, and James White, Philip Dorsett, and uh, they used the Patriots. And, uh, but James White in high school and in college, uh, Wisconsin. You know, he's got he's coached a lot of great running backs. So uh, I just I felt comfortable and wanted to come back and uh, try to follow that trend. Yeah, we'll just say uh, it really felt good to be hit again. You know, I haven't been hit since Penn State, um, so yeah, that sounds kind of weird, but it felt really good to like take some hits on the body and stuff. So yeah, I was glad to you know get out there and just try to make some plays. Um, you know, do what I feel comfortable with. What do you like on the plane or getting off the plane coming back here? What was the emotions just to see it all feel comfortable um, Nothing too crazy. I mean, it was just, like I said, it's really my second home, you know, and being from Florida, a lot different here, obviously, but, you know, I really am comfortable here and through the years, my four or five years now. Um, you know, this place always has a special place in my heart. And, uh, you know, just, I was just glad to get ready to Excited to get ready for work, you know. And, uh, I know I have a lot to prove, so you know I, I wasn't here throughout the whole semester of spring, and uh, you know I'm just trying to do whatever I can, to, you know, prove to you know not only the coaches but you know my teammates that you know here to do whatever I can to help this team win. And, you know they know they've been around me for a while, and, uh, you know they, they know my work ethic. How good do you think the whole running back room can be on paper? It seems to be pretty loaded. Absolutely. I mean, I think this could be one of the best running back rooms. I've ever been a part of. I don't know. Uh, I just think, you know, I don't know about the past universities uh, running back rooms before my time, but uh, I just really think that this is a special group. Uh, not only the talent, but like the people we have in the group. It's just really, they just seem like, you know, genuine, down to earth people. And uh, I'm just glad and excited to work with them. It makes coming to work uh, a lot better. Mike, was there any sense of maybe you know, finishing, finishing this out on your own terms? You know, and your decision to come back, just you, know, you could you could dictate maybe kind of how your college football career rounded out. What do you mean by that, like coming back? Well, just that you know maybe not let what happened in the last oh, four right. or five years kind of dictate you know maybe your whole experience in college football. Yeah, I mean I just you know not to get in too personal about my decision to come back. I just wanted to come back here where I felt comfortable and uh, you know the teammates that I have and the bonds I've created over time. Uh, you know, the relationships that I hear the coaches have since before I got here and those have all lived up to the standard. I mean, this is a really uh, genuine group of coaches, I feel. And, uh, you know, I'm just excited to come back, you know, be in my fifth year. Joe's got a lot of seniors on the roster. Have you had conversations with them about, like, just the turn you all have been on? And you kind of see like, up to this point now where you're the older guys, you're the better. Yeah, I mean, our seniors been through a lot. I don't know if there's another group of people that's been through um, that much in college football. You know, the wins, the losses, you know, the change in staff. Um, it's a lot, but uh, you know, I think it does make us stronger. Um, and I think uh, you know, it reveals our you know, toughness and our character. So, you know, just being together again and being able to be together in a special group of people. Some people I even came up came in with freshman year. It's special, you know, we remember those those times and a lot of things have changed, but you know, we're still here. You know what a, a packed Memorial Stadium is, is like. Have you thought about what that feeling will be like uh, against Nebraska, finally getting you know fans back in the stands after last season? Yeah, I'm so excited about that. I'm sure the fans are so excited as well. I mean, it's just I look at film, you know, through this like, past year, and I just see nobody there, and it's it's crazy to think that we did that. But uh, it'll just make it even more special when we walk out there and you hear some people screaming. You know the best fans that we have that weren't able to be a part of our game day experience for the, throughout the whole last year. So I mean that's just adds the excitement. You know, there's so much more excitement coming this year, um, especially that you know some type of normalcy hopefully, um, COVID-wise. But yeah, it, it's going to add to the whole experience. And there's nothing like a packed Memorial Stadium. Thank you. Guys. Thank you.